Doing it. <laughs> Wait, choice card. No, we want the museum pass card. So we have the museum. Okay. We've now come to the main gate to the Top Card Palace. It's surrounded by walls actually. Uh, and behind you, is, if you look right behind, uh, let's see where they're all queuing up to find tickets. It's a long queue, but we've, thankfully we've got our museum pass so we can queue jump. Um, and straight ahead is the Hagia Sophia. Uh, that was the large uh, Christian church. Um, Eastern Orthodox Church, uh, then it became a museum, uh, now it's a mosque. Uh, so it's a very popular site. Uh, Topka Palace, uh, you've got the Blue Mosque as well nearby. And as you can see straight ahead is the entrance into the Topkai Palace. In the 15th century, between 1459 and 1465, shortly after, con after the con west of Constantinople, now Istanbul, uh, by Mehmet uh, II, who built it as his principal residency. Uh, rather than a single building, it was conceived as a series of pavilions contained by four enormous courtyards, a stone version of the tented encampment from which the nomadic Ottomans had emerged initially. Uh, the palace was served as a seat of government and contained a school in which the civil servants uh, and soldiers were trained. Um, later, the palace was abandoned in 1853 in favour of the Dornbusch Palace. But in 1924, it was reopened to the public as a museum. You see the three courtyards. <laughs> Separated. Okay. <laughs> That's true. Lovely little courtyard down there. Chandelier. Chandelier. I don't think so. Is it? No. Yeah. Candles in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Put the table. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Grand silver candlestick. Yeah. Silver. It's grand, isn't it? Mm. Silver. 
designers and other authorized people in the state. The conductor of the Mekhtar Dan is called Mekhtar Bush. The performers consist of seven groups of instruments. Chekyan, And we're now in the um, costume room where all the uh, Afghans sit out through the royal costumes. And the tradition had it that um, when they died, they would keep their clothes um, and they'd be carefully sealed and so they're preserved. So you find these sort of some of the 16th century costumes um, kept in a very good condition and we can see what they were like when they were worn. Uh, there's some fine ones, you know, some are made of silk. And it's a symbol of their power and uh, magnificence. Yeah. Very, very quick, yeah. That's amazing. Isn't it? Century silk, yes, a kind of silk, a silk caftan there. Another silk one. Good yards, brother. Imagine all those silk ones used to make that. Still in the uh, in Tokba Palace, in the garden of Tokba Palace, and we're looking out towards the Bosphorus. Let's go further around here. We're going to see the Bosphorus Bridge, spanning the Bosphorus between the, well, basically between the European and the Asian side. And it was constructed in 1917 and finally completed in 1973. It's the current side of the 50th anniversary standing of the Turkish Republic. It's 1,024 metres long. It's the world's ninth longest suspension bridge. And... Oh. in the middle because the chin is. Very grand. Thank <laughs> you. 